Well, good evening, everybody. It's a great pleasure to um, be able to address the Marketing Society. Um, I was for nine years the Director General of the Advertising Standards Authority, so I feel like I'm sort of coming home, and for once I haven't got to speak about the Surveillance Society. We can actually get stuck into some real chunky uh, regulatory issues around uh, data and marketing. But this is also something of a, of a, a sentimental journey, and uh, I remember with great affection all the trouble that was caused for me by that little, uh, that little dog that you used with more than to launch the, uh, the brand. And what, how fantastically successful it was and how, how deeply annoying it was that it was fly-posting and therefore completely illegal. Uh, I remember it, it, it really upset uh, one of the knights of the industry. You know, when you get really grand in the agency world, they make you Sir Frank, so-and-so. And... -so. and um, uh, one of the knights of the industry rang me up and said, this is really terrible. And his wife was very upset that um, she was concerned about this little dog and what they're going to do about it. And so it got the brand talked about. And that's what this is all about, isn't it? Effective marketing that gets the brand talked about, but in a good way. The, the issues are around the surveillance society, which is what um, opponents of the information society like to call it, um, is really an issue for the election. And it's very striking that all the parties seem to have ideas about what the Information Commissioner ought to do. A uh, Conservative front bench spokesman said to me last night, um, we, think you, we think the Information Commissioner should be one of the great officers of state. And I said, does that mean I get a hat and a <laughs> chain? <laughs> now, in that election, it's, we're telling it's going to be an E, an e election. I hope very much that that doesn't just mean that we're going to be spammed, uh, rung up in the middle of dinner, and generally annoyed. If it's about engaging voters, uh, the use of uh, web websites, Twitter and everything, fantastic. If anything that can engage a deeply disillusioned electorate, uh, that's really good. And if it encourages uh, debate and turnout, that's fantastic. But if any of you are advising parties or candidates, may I refer you to the ICO, Information Commissioner's Office, website, where there's a really good guideline for the use of candidates and parties. Because if you get it wrong, you will be in trouble. Because, um, as Charles has said, all this activity has to be conducted within the context of law. And that's not just me being a boring regulator. The Data Protection Act is an act of Parliament. And the, our, our friends in Parliament and aspirate friends in Parliament have to realise that the law applies to them as much as it applies to anybody else. They've learned the hard way through expenses. They might learn the hard way uh, through playing fast and loose with the rules that everybody else in the business has to stick to. A candidate or a party is just the same as a product or a brand, and they must be held to the same standards. The Data Protection Act, the Privacy and Electronic Communications Regulations, of course, the, the great pride of this industry is that you've got a very effective self-regulatory system. I would say that, wouldn't I? But, you know, even uh, nine months out of it, I still think that's the way that most of this sort of thing should be done. And the CAP code is very clear about what you can and can't do. And the regulator is there in, in the background. But you should be aware that the regulator has just got rather sharp teeth. Uh, previously, the Information Commission has been able to express disapproval um, and possibly prosecute breaches in the magistrate's court, you could be looking at a £5,000 fine on a, on a bad day. As of the 6th of April, I've got um, new powers to uh, impose civil monetary penalties on organisations that commit Section 55 breaches of the Data Protection Act. That's sort of knowing and reckless breach of the act. Like, I don't care, I, you know, I'm just doing my stuff, go away. You're looking at a fine of up to half a million pounds. Now, I don't want to, um, I don't, don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, threatening anybody. I really want to, uh, uh, I, 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 want, I do want to accentuate the positive, but I just want you to be aware of that. Um, finally, in, um, in conclusion, can I endorse very much what has been said by, by Paul um, about the industry needing to grow up, and um, by Julian about the, the importance of respect for, for customers and, and consumers. Because I don't want 
uh, to be chasing after people with civil monetary penalties all the time. I want to put the emphasis on education and enabling, because I think that online is a fantastic force for good, provided you can control the bits that are a fantastic uh, force for bad. Um, we've basically, as an industry, and this is my concluding thought, got to grow up from the point where there's all this wonderful kit and, hey, we can do all this stuff, to um, how are we going to use it. We've got to move from, from techie to savvy, if you like. And those brands that neglect that are going to face the really effective penalty which isn't so much civil monetary penalties from the Information Commissioner, but it's the loss of reputation, it's the loss of a beautiful relationship with, with consumers. The, the positive, reverse side of that is that if you get it right, you can develop a competitive advantage vis-a-vis -vis others who are not so smart. If you can be the respected brand who produces wonderful products, fantastic services, delights consumers, and also respects them and hangs on to their information and doesn't flog it to somebody else, then you've got a really powerful proposition of a 21st century brand. So moving from tech techie to savvy is what this is really about. We will concentrate not on the people who are trying to do their best and to get it right, but on the people who either are hopeless or don't care. And half a million pounds is very painful. The reputational damage that would follow on from that is the double whammy. I hope it doesn't happen to any of you, and it needn't. Thank you.